Good morning. Welcome to today's children's chat. We are so glad you're with us. We have a new topic, and I have some friends with me today who are going to see if they can define what that word really is. But before we get started, I'm going to have them tell us their names. So can you say your name, and you're going to say it right into that microphone. Presley. Presley. And can you say your name? Ellie. And Ellie. So I have Presley and Ellie. All right. So here's my word. It's really tough. Are you ready? Okay, first I'm going to make you pronounce it to see if you can say it. Then I want you to tell me what it means. All right? The word is sojourner. Can you say it? Sojourner. Ooh, they're really good. All right. Do you happen to know what that word means? Any idea? Do you want to guess? Take a wild guess. If you were to write a something down maybe about a story and there was a sojourner in it what would you say about that uh, I don't know. you don't know? Um, I don't know how about the word traveler you're traveling to somewhere oh you're traveling to somewhere do I, what does traveling mean Ellie do you know that's right, you go somewhere far away. I have some very smart people with me today, right? So a sojourner is like a traveler. It's someone who's passing through a town, settles for a little while, but doesn't stay forever. Do you, have you guys ever met somebody like that? Maybe had a neighbor who was next to you and stayed for a little while and then moved away? No? Or have you maybe moved for um, your mom or dad got a job in a different town so you stayed in one place and went someplace else? No? That's probably because how old are you? Five. How old are you? Five. Yeah, you've only been here for five years, so maybe not all that stuff has happened in your lives yet, right? But I bet at some point in your life you will meet someone who settles in a place for just a short period of time and then moves away. And that would be super cool because then somebody new will move in and you'll get to make a new friend. So you'll have an old friend and a new friend. All right, so I want to thank you guys so much for coming in today. I'm going to get on with my children's chat and you guys can go on home. Thank you. Wave. Yeah. You want to wave? I'm so glad that we had our special guest with us today trying to guess what that really tough word is and you heard them say it. It is, um, well actually you heard me say it. I was telling them that a sojourner is someone who goes to a place and just kind of stays for a little while, settles for a little while, but they know that they're moving on to someplace else more permanently, which means like forever. And I'm going to give you some examples about some sojourners in the Bible. Pastor Corey is going to be doing a series on that topic for the next few weeks, so hopefully we can kind of match up with what he says as he's going through his sermons as well, and you're watching the children's chats. So I think that I have a picture of a sojourner or traveler up on screen with me so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now, the first people in the Bible, do you guys remember who they are, the first man and woman? That's right, Adam and Eve. Well, they ended up becoming sojourners because they were in the Garden of Eden and life was good. And if they had followed God's plan, they would have been there forever and there would have been no sin. But they did something bad. They ate the forbidden fruit. God said, I don't want you to do this. And they did it anyway, which made them sad. And it made God sad. And when that happened, they had to leave the Garden of Eden and they could never come back which was why Jesus was sent here on earth to forgive us of our sins. So that's the first story of that. So then they were sent out to wander on the earth. Another example is Abraham. Now Abraham was originally, his name was Abram before God spoke with him. And he also was traveling around and especially uh, because God, God had said to him, I'm going to give you this special land, and if you do what I'm asking you to do and you follow my plan and obey me, then you are going to become the father of many nations, and your name is going to be celebrated. Well, Abraham actually agreed to do that, and his name went from Abram to Abraham, which is super cool that God asked him to do this thing and then he said yes and then God rewarded him by making all of these nations um, that he became the father of. So there's another family that were sojourners in the Bible if we come up to the New Testament and that is Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Did you know that? 
Well, they were traveling too, and they actually were traveling to tr um, into town and trying to escape this man called Herod because Herod did not want baby Jesus to stay alive and grow up into a great king. So they also were going from a place to another place just to kind of escape and keep Jesus safe. So even that family were sojourners. Now we're going to jump ahead to uh, when Jesus is a grown-up, and here's another famous sojourner, Peter. Now there's an incredible story about Peter. I'm sure I've, I've told this story before, so some of you may have heard it, but it may be new to the other ones of you. So one time, uh, the, the disciples were all on this boat, and Peter was on the boat, and they didn't see Jesus, and all of a sudden, far into the, Jesus wasn't on the boat, but far off into the distance, they saw Jesus, but they didn't know it was really him. They thought maybe it was like a ghost or a spirit, and they were all scared, until Jesus started walking closer to them, and they realized that Jesus was walking on water super crazy they were incredulous in disbelief they were in awe they just they just couldn't believe what they were seeing and peter was the one that was brave enough to say if it's you make me walk on water too and so jesus said all you have to do is step out of the boat and do you know what happened Peter stepped out of the boat and kept his eyes on Jesus and he believed that he was going to walk on water too and he did but all of a sudden he lost his faith and he fell into the water and he was drowning and Jesus had to reach down and pick him up and save him that's where we get a very different idea of what the word sojourner means before that when i was talking about it i'm talking about someone who was traveling and kind of coming in and out of a town but as christians because we have jesus in our life we have a very different meaning peter then went on later to go out into the world and proclaim the word of god and tell everyone about Jesus and he became a sojourner again but a sojourner of faith and, and then the meaning was someone who was trying to go on a journey to in spirituality and to learn about God and to learn about Jesus to grow their faith and that's what Jesus calls us to do to go out and be sojourners so that as we're journeying through life we're obeying God and we're following God's plan for our lives which is to love him love our neighbors and to spread the word all about him because in essence the main point is that we are all as Christians sojourners because earth is only a place that we're settling in for a very small amount of time. Our goal is to have a permanent home in heaven with God. And that's what God had originally created the world for, so we could all be together. So Adam and Eve would have been with God if they had followed his direction and obeyed him. We would have all been with God, but they didn't. They stopped obeying, and they, they were broken and separated from God, which is what sin does. It separates us from God. Jesus came down and then rose from the dead on the cross on Easter, which actually kind of acts as a bridge between earth and heaven. So we're just here on earth for a little bit of time. And when we believe in Jesus, we get to go up to heaven and be with God forever, which is permanent. And we will no longer be sojourners. So I hope you guys understand, and we're going to go over that concept a few more times um, in the upcoming weeks so you can really get a grasp. Now, I would like for you guys to practice saying that word at home so that when it comes up next week, you're going to already know how to say it and what it means. Will you guys do that for me? I know you will. All right, are you ready to pray? Ready? Pray. Dear God, I want to thank you so much for all of the sojourners in the Bible who have taught us how to be that in our lives as Christians today. Help us to remember that the treasures that we find on earth are nothing in comparison to the treasure that we will have in heaven and that awaits us for believing in your Son. Once again, thank you so much for Jesus, and please continue to keep us safe and happy and healthy. In your name we pray. Amen.